Norwegian Cruise Lines. They have become the first of the big, large cruise lines to officially drop all COVID-19 protocols. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, first up, you guys are gonna have to forgive my voice. We just got back here, back into Texas from our cruise. My allergies have gone utterly nuts and it is just messing with my throat. So if I sound a little funny, just some allergy issues, no big deal, but it may, like I said, may sound a little bit funny. All right, on to Norwegian Cruise Lines. Yep, they have officially dropped all of their COVID-19 protocols effective tomorrow, October the 4th. And what that means is regardless of your vaccination status, you can be vaccinated, you can be unvaccinated, doesn't matter. But the big one is gonna be no pre-cruise testing for anybody. So if you're unvaccinated, you will no longer have to worry about pre-cruise testing in order to get on Norwegian cruise lines. Okay, they have gone back to pre-pandemic protocols as far as cruise passengers go. So for Norwegian cruise lines, cruising is finally gonna be returning back to normal at least on the passenger side. And I say the passenger side because on the cruise ship side, well, they're going to keep some protocols in place, some things that they have found that have worked during the pandemic that they're going to make a permanent part of ship operations. So the enhanced cleaning and sanitization, well, they're going to keep that. All of the improvements they've made to airflow, air filtration, and items like that, they're going to keep all of that as well, along with the improved medical facilities. So while the pandemic really sucked, what it did to cruising really sucked, a lot of the protocols were a real pain in the butt for most of us, some good did come out of it. Like I said, they're improving their cleaning, and that's a good thing. The cleaner the area, the better it is for the passengers because no matter what, you still have a large number of people in a combined amount of space Improved cleaning and sanitization is a good thing. Improving the air filtration, that is a good thing. Enhanced medical facilities is a good thing in case there are any future issues on board the ship. Again, these are good things. So I'm glad to see that something did come out of the pandemic to help improve cruising and the experience for cruise passengers. So if you're ready to take a cruise, doesn't matter about vaccination status, don't wanna have to worry about taking any kind of pre-cruise testing, well, starting tomorrow, Norwegian Cruise Lines is going to be the cruise lines that's going to allow you to do that. And said, and they are first. But what we always see with the cruise lines is one does it and the others follow along pretty shortly afterwards. So we may hear from the other cruise lines here in the next coming week or so. And we may see some similar changes from them as well. And as soon as we do, I, of course, will let you guys know. Now, there is one thing to remember about these changes that Norwegian has made. is not every cruise port, not every cruise destination has dropped their health and safety protocols. Some of them out there still have requirements. You may still have to test. You may still have to be vaccinated for very specific ports out there. Just a quick example. Australia has health and safety protocols in place. So no matter what Norwegian does in order for the ships to go there, they have to follow local health and safety regulations. So while we're good here in the United States, we're good now in Canada, we're good now in the Caribbean, there may still be some places out there that have that. So if you have an upcoming Norwegian cruise, just verify the health and safety protocols for your specific itinerary, just to make sure that there still aren't some protocols in place that you'll have to follow for your sailing. Because it's always good to know before you go, that way you don't have any surprises when you get there. All right, and that is gonna be our cruise news for today. If you have enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It is free to do so, helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.